Global X interviews social entrepreneurs who tackle some of the world's biggest problems. They are pioneers of innovation that benefit humanity. I'm Premal Shah, and I serve as uh, president of Kiva.org. Uh, prior to Kiva, I worked at PayPal uh, for six years, and uh, I was really excited about doing some kind of online microfinance uh, website, and uh, was lucky enough to run into Matt and Jessica Flannery, who had just started Kiva, and so I quit my job along with Matt, and uh, together he and I co-lead uh, the company, and I focus mainly on the microfinance side of the house. I made a lot of mistakes um, starting up. The first mistake is it I took two years while still working at PayPal to get my idea off the ground. And if I could go back, I would do less PowerPoint, less Microsoft Excel, and less asking kind of experts for permission and more just trying to get that website up and trying to get people onto the site and really just try to get moving on the program activity that I believed in. Showing traction is a lot better than showing projections. Even if the traction is a fraction of what the projections are, it's believable and people are, are um, overwhelmed with projections right now. They need real traction. So do anything to show a little bit of traction. The second point would be then to make that transparent online as soon as you can. So not all models are like Kiva, um, but but you know even if you're starting up a uh, an, uh, you know a, a shelter for the homeless, make that a blog and basically show kind of the traction and how things are progressing month over month, and let people basically f discover that blog by making that part of your email signature. You know, email everyone you know to track you, and on that blog, don't just talk about your successes. Talk about your failures and your constraints because what's amazing is you can't predict who is searching for something on Google and who's going to find your site. But that's how a lot of what we think is serendipity at Kiva really was just us making our constraints really available to the public and then the public finding us and helping us break through those constraints. So make your, make your whole adventure radically transparent, particularly the failures and the constraints. And finally, third is uh, ink is cheap on the internet, so build an advisory board, and your advisory boards can be massive. And the great thing about that is you can find a number of people who a lot of people like to be on advisory boards, and 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 you know when they're on online on your website and they Google search their own name, they'll see their name come up, and it's amazing. But it's little subtle things like that that allow you to actually build people from you know passively interested to actually an official supporter, and and these folks know other people, and and in and and you know you start levering basically um, your time and your idea because other people start feeling that they're co-creating it and that's absolutely true but you need to start um, you know share the ownership share the share the uh, ability for other people to co-create something with you and and track it all again online global X is also on social edge at socialedge.org.